So, I was just upstairs thinking to myself, I should really get to the basement and do something. I feel like flying. Go away, Molly. <laughs> I feel like flying, kind of. But it's really a shitty thing to film. Well, not a shitty thing. It's just that I don't have the proper equipment to film it yet. <clears throat> but uh, once I get past that issue, I will be able to... As soon as I get some DVR goggles, I'll get you guys some good footage of that crap. Right now, I have an idea. So you'll see I got the old side-by-side -side out here. Another thing that I don't drive very much that I probably could be doing something with. This thing comes with adapters. Now these adapters this guy out of here. <laughs> These guys have little adapters. See on that side, that's a seven mil that goes on to like micros and stuff. Like um, this will adapt onto like the SEX 24 or I'm thinking possibly the uh, Panda Hobby Tetra. Yes, I think it's gonna go fit onto there. So give me a moment, I'll get these off. I'll get the tires off and let me see what I'm, I'll show you what I'm thinking. Okay, I just ran into the first possible flaw in my plan. There's the front hex. There's the rear hex. They're not the same size. Which, it's not gonna slow me down. Okay, it might. <clears throat> I'm gonna try anyways. Hold on now. Okay, so, there's the old Panda Hobby guy. The, uh, hmm, stop it. I'm gonna try the rear first, because if the rear don't go, it's not gonna work anywhere, because I think the front is going to work. You just get your own channel. Sorry. <clears throat> My mind is going. No, I'm just looking to see if the innards are any different. They're the same, so that's fine. <clears throat> so there's the seven mil hex that comes standard on these guys. I'm not going for this tire, or though, even though it might actually work on there, it's way too light. I would need a much heavier tire than that, just because this is a top heavy vehicle. It needs a weighted tire. Better tires in the future, but that's not what's going on today. Uh, there's the rear, the hex goes on. There's gonna be my problem. That's why the thicker hex is shit. It only gives me that much thread. Do, 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 do. What I was thinking, oh, drop my French. Excuse my French. was the Panda Drifter. I swear it'll work. I'm sure it will. Like that doesn't even line up that bad. Here, can you see? Look at that. It's decent flush mount. It's, it's a, you tighten up the suspension. You could totally drift this thing. But damn it, I don't have the right hex adapters. Cause these are too fat. Well, I'm gonna save this footage and we're gonna complete this later. Cause I have to get a set of hex, or another set of these adapters. I can't think of anything else that I own that might have a set on it. I've never seen them before. I've seen them on this thing, so it's a new thing to me. It's pretty upsetting. Now, well, damn it. All right. I'm not giving up on this idea. I'll be back to it. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so, to be honest with you guys, I don't remember where I left off in the last video because it was a week and a half, two weeks ago, something like that. Hi, baby. That's still plugged in. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Probably not. So I was running a 3-cell 450 Maw out at Medic's Place. Stop it. So pretty. Yes, you're so pretty. Okay, I wasted all kinds of time already. Let's see if I can get through this now. Um... Light screw it up. Everything's against me today, it feels like. And I just blinded myself. All right. I haven't waterproofed the receiver yet, which I should probably should do, which I just noticed. Um, yeah, so I don't remember where I left off last time. Sorry, I'm just scatterbrained. I got not a lot going on, to tell you the truth. I'm just scatterbrained at the moment. The parts finally came in from action that I've been waiting for to do this. Ordered a week, week and a half ago. Got the phone call yesterday. Picked them up this morning. Tire comes off. Yay. Nope, that's not the ones. 
Where are they? Still in the pocket? Nope. What'd I do with them? Ha! Oh, there they are, right there. So I got a couple of these. <clears throat> They're eight bucks. Your part number is that big old thing right there. You got it? You got it? You got it? The AX31516. This is the hexes for the uh, Axial Yeti Jr. Yeah, I think I showed you guys these before. So there's the two different thicknesses. One of the rear and those are for the front. I just need four of the thin ones. That's why I needed two packs. That goes on. And we're going to give these a go. I don't know if I showed you that in the last video. I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. I didn't need to take the body off. <laughs> but I might in the future because I'm going to try something else as well. Just give me a minute to screw around with this. I'll be right back. After a couple quick minutes, she's pretty much ready to go. Just waiting for the battery to get done charging. And we're going to give this thing a quick little rip on 3-cell. I know what you're already thinking. But now that you got 12 mil, are you going to try a different rubber? Yeah, maybe. So I grabbed the bat a little bit early. That's going to be fine. So that's a 450 ma 3 cell, 75 C burst tattoo. T A T T U. Gift from my friend Medic. Plenty of Velcro to get this big old battery in there. Too bad it's at the back, but now ah, well. Might help for drifting. <laughs> Woo -hoo. I got Molly. Get out of here. Get. Boy, she gives her. Molly, look out, I can't see. I'm gonna get you. Okay, let me see what else I got for tires. <laughs> okay, I've never felt this motor after a quick crawl, but I'll tell you what, um, after a drift session, that motor is freaking hot. I don't have a thermometer gauge or anything like that, but I just burnt my finger a wee little bit. That, that sucker is toasty. If I had smell a vision, you guys would be able to smell it. Oh, yeah. That ESC is just fine. Yeah, that, that motor's cooking hot. I'm going to give it a couple minutes. I'm also going to look at tires because I was thinking about trying these, but that's crazy. Like, that's a 1.9 RC 4 wheel drive. That's nuts. That ain't going to do anything. Then the next one down. <clears throat> or not next one down, but really the only thing else I got that's relatively even close to being small. That's the one. Well, there's another one I just thought of. That's the one off the uh, Mini E Revo. Still quite larger, but it might actually go on there. It's just that I don't know if the offset will allow it to still function. But still, that's really too big still. And then... Then there's, then there's these two guys. These are about the only other size that might work. That's just a hair bigger. That's probably going to work. It's just they're super light. And then those guys. Size-wise, perfect. 
but there are tracks a short course. La tracks short course. So I don't imagine they're gonna get good grip. But I might try those. Well, it appears they're gonna lift the body like right away. Okay, slight clearance issues. Hold on. <clears throat> well, I raised the body, <clears throat> and then I uh, need to adjust my steering ever so slightly. That'll be good enough. See, that's on two cell. The three cell was crazy. Oh, I see, still rubbing. Apparently, <clears throat> I gotta do some cut. Give me a second. <laughs> that might have done it. <clears throat> Still some kind of rubbing going on. say about this truck maybe it's still just not quite the right tires that body's up as high as I can get to go without doing custom mods on the on the lift somehow which probably is impossible <clears throat> just don't want to crawl it's so geared high I really don't know what to say about this truck. <clears throat> so those tires are probably too big. The drifting was a bad idea for this motor. It didn't like it at all. Maybe on two cell it might have not got so hot. Probably not. But yeah. I don't really know what this thing's made for. <laughs> I might have to go back to the stock tires or just itty bitty or maybe find something halfway between the two. I'm not done trying different stuff but so these are the tires off the stock Yeti. I trimmed the shit out of the body and they're still just a little bit too big. That's okay. We'll get it figured out eventually. But <clears throat> thanks for checking it out. I hope you guys had a laugh and maybe I gave you guys some ideas of what you could do with your Tetra or other micros. <clears throat> All right, thanks for watching. Get out.